Okay, I've been uh, hugely inspired by a fantastic Rwandan woman called Dedasien Mukahabeshimana. And uh, yeah, it's quite a name. It's about as long as she's tall. Uh, but she, I've been inspired by her because uh, you know she was one of, of course, millions who suffered during the genocide in Rwanda. She lost her father. She lost brothers and sisters. And um, but the extraordinary thing about her was that uh, in the the period following the genocide, she uh, she was one of a crowd of public uh, dragged into a big stadium to to watch an execu public execution. And while she was there in that execution, absolutely revolted by what she was having to, to witness, um, but feeling along with the crowd both that sense of these people are getting their revenge, you know, what, what they deserve, but at the same time horrified by what she had to see, uh, she said suddenly this, this wave came over her of, of we're all responsible, you know, the, the horrors that happened in our country, we are all responsible. She was a, a Tutsi. And this absolutely changed her. And she came out of that stadium with this conviction that uh, she needed to get women from all the different backgrounds, Tutsi and Hutu women, together to, to go into the prisons to care for the, the men who'd been locked up waiting trial, um, you know, maybe they're men who'd murdered their families or whatever. Many of these men feeling desperate about what they've been caught up in, you know, needing to be able to talk to someone, be able to apologize and then she after that she was she spent the last years in this whole rehabilitation process of helping bring people out of jail uh, resettling them back in their villages preparing the villages to receive them back um, just an extraordinary work but she is the most uh, uh, powerful forgiving generous-hearted woman and I think she's one of many in Rwanda like that